guess. Also, just for a size comparison on the rotors, that's the old one. This is the new one. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video, or as always, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Today, I got the truck tore back apart again to do something pretty exciting, I think, and that is the big brake upgrade for these trucks. I think it'll work for like a 99 to 02 or 99 to 07 classics. Pretty sure they all use the same kind of hub setup. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be swapping out these two piston calipers for the bigger, bigger rotor and all that 2019, I believe, is the truck they came off of. Uh, four piston rotors and I think it's like 13 and a half inch caliper. And it all pretty much bolts up. I think all I'm gonna need to do is put a spacer in between the knuckle and the actual rotor itself, the new one. And then swap out the old connection, which the old connection is the same. I did, I think I did get a new bolt and everything just to make it a little bit easier, a little bit better. But I'm gonna still use the old line, everything else, but obviously just caliper, rotor, from a 2019 so I'm gonna go show you guys the new stuff all right guys so here is the new rotor all the hardware in there this is it this guy four rotors two on each side compared to that which that little piece is the only part of the caliper the rest of that's just mounting bracket this whole thing is caliper so that's that should help out a lot at least with the braking because as you guys know, I just recently put the 35s on there. And I have noticed a little bit tougher, takes a little bit longer to stop. So hopefully these will make it better. And then the rotors, they're in there, but they're huge and they're heavy. They're like this one. I'll compare them when I get this one off. But I'm going to go ahead and start taking this stuff off. And it's super, super easy. All you got to do with the caliper is these two bolts back here there's one here and then one on the very bottom i want to say they're like 21s but i'll tell you the exact when i get on them but all you got to do is just take this one off take the bottom one off and this whole piece comes off rotor comes off start throwing the new stuff on but first what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to crack this loose the uh, brake line nut i'm not going to take it all the way off yet because i'm going to try to swap them over super quick so i don't lose too much fluid you're gonna lose fluid there's kind of no way around that but if i can lose the least amount as possible that'd be great so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to twist that just a little bit just to loosen it up so that way i can take all this off and then once it's up here unscrew it hurry up shove it down real quick well swap the bolt out because i got a new banjo bolt and crush washer so like i said it's inevitable you're going to lose some fluid but you can lose least amount possible that's always good so like i said i'm gonna go ahead and take this off get everything ready and then compare the old stuff then start throwing on the new stuff Alright guys, so, I mean, there it is, pretty much. Still got the old one up there. Need to swap that line over to here. And then, obviously, bleed the system. But I still gotta do the other side. And then, put the pads in here, which I think I'm about to do right now. Super, super easy. And then, this will be wrapped up. And we'll have big breaks on this girl. So, hopefully we'll stop like it used to, or hopefully better. So, let's get into it. All right guys, so it's all together now. We got the new banjo bolt and crush washer in. Uh, just looked up, it's like, I think it said like 35 foot pounds is all these are kind of good for. So that's what I did to that. And it looks pretty well crushed in there. So I think that's gonna be okay. It's not leaking anymore. It was dripping for a second, then I tightened it down. It's good now. Got the brake pads in, super, super simple. I think I'm gonna show you guys how to do that on the other side when I get that in, but that's in. This is all on, it's centered up here. 
as you can see let's see looks pretty centered on this side and that side so i think that's going to be okay and then the only other issue is if you're gonna want to run these brakes for one i think you're gonna which mine's a lift kit so i gotta run bigger than 17s anyways i'm pretty sure you have to run over 17 inch tires and then gotta make sure you have the correct back spacing that's the only thing i'm a little worried about here but i kind of measured off that one and there was plenty of clearance so i think i'm gonna be okay but we'll definitely figure it out sooner or later if not you can either shave this off or if you want to go the expensive expensive route get new wheels with bed with uh, more back spacing but or they kind of come out more in this way but like i said i think i'm gonna be okay so i'm gonna put the new wheel on and or i'm gonna put my wheel on and we'll see all right so wheels on not torqued down yet but lugs are backed all the way in wheel is all the way up against the rotor back here and i still got it's real tight but i still got good clearance there i think it'll be just fine got about i think about an eighth of an inch maybe maybe a little bit less but you can turn it it's not going to rub like i said if you're uncomfortable with how close that is you can always shave off this slot but I didn't really need to, or you can always put a little spacer up in there, and it'll get you going. But this side's done, so I think I'm going to run over to the other side real quick off camera, and I'll probably show you guys how to put these brake pads in. Super simple, take a couple seconds, and then bleed the brakes, and that'll, that'll wrap up this video, guys, so let's get to it. All right, guys, so also just for a size comparison on the rotors, that's the old one. This is the new one. This is a 13 and a half inch rotor compared to the, I don't know what that'd be, like a nine inch rotor. That's it's gonna be, that's a pretty good upgrade and they're heavy. I'm telling you, these guys are maybe like, I don't know, 10, 15 pounds maybe. And this one's like 30, probably, probably off on those weights, but that one's quite a bit heavier than that one. And like I said, things gonna do wonders. So I'm on the driver's side now. I'm just gonna throw everything back together. And then the next thing you'll see is me putting the pads on. And then I'm gonna bleed everything, but I'm gonna do all that off camera. All right guys, so I've got this side all in. Crush washer on. Now I'm gonna put in these brake pads now. Brake pads, super, super simple. Let's go find them here. So you've got your two rectangles. They're both the same size and obviously you'll have a left and right so you'll just take it whichever ones you'll just follow the curvature of the rotor pretty much figure out whichever side you need and then you just take it you have to find the right you'll slide it in there just a little bit you can push them down more and they will go further down but they they don't need to go that low so you grab the other side, and push it in, and then the brake pads are in, but now we just need to put in the hardware. And the hardware for these are these little guys here. So you grab these pins. I was going to put them back to front. I was kind of maybe thinking that'd be easier for uh, brake changes and everything, but it really doesn't matter. So I just decided to put them front to rear, which I don't really think it... Like I said, I don't really think it matters which way they go, but I'm just doing front to rear. So you'll line the holes up in the pad to the holes in here. Just shove this guy through all the way into the back. And then it comes out there. And then they give you these little cotter pins. Bring your holes around where you can see them. And then push it in and that's it so that upper one's installed I'm gonna go ahead and do the bottom one and then I'll show you how to install this guy this keeps them separated kind of a spring rate whatever on most of them but 
again, this shows you just how easy it is to put these on considering I'm doing this one-handed while holding a camera. But not only will this help us stop a whole lot better, but it also makes it super, super easy to do brake changes because now all I got to do is take the wheel off, pull these pins out, these bad boys slide out, new ones slide in, put the pins back in, done. Brake changes went from, I mean, they, never, they were never long before, but they went from about, I don't know, I'd say 30 minutes to now 15 minutes for both sides. So, I mean, that's going to do a lot better, but I'll get into this one. Let me get it out of the bag. Okay, so this one, I'm not 100% sure if there's a way that these are supposed to go. I don't really think it matters as far as like up and down. I know you want these hooks to be able to hook into these posts. So these hooks will go on the inside. But I'm not 100% sure if it matters if they're up or down. Because these rest up against these flat spots. And both sides have these flat spots. So again, not really sure if somebody knows more about these brakes than me. Then definitely let me know. Leave them down in the comments. But you'll just spread them apart. Get these guys apart. Hook that hook over that rod force it down a little bit get it to set in here and then same thing down at the bottom pinch, pinch these together and then you'll just pull this clip down a little bit and now it's over the rod and there we go so we're done there so now all we have to do is bleed the system and we're done with this oh yeah and real quick too, when you're installing these, I'm almost positive you can put these on either way. Like, say this side, this is the driver's side. I'm pretty sure you could probably install this on the passenger side, but you always wanna make sure your bleeder valve is on top. If it's down low, it won't get the air out of the system when you're pumping it. Air will sit on the top, and you always want that to be on top. So whenever you're installing these, make sure bleeder valves on top so all right now i'm gonna put the wheel on bleed the system off camera and then the next thing you see of me should be me test driving it showing you guys how it does yeah that'll be it so let's get to it all right guys so just got back from running this old girl down the road and i mean she stops it's it's good it's about how it was before i put the lift and wheels and tires on maybe maybe a little bit better but that's pretty much what I was wanting because they're feeling a little spongy. Just the old ones were before, like right after I put the 35s on and everything. And so I figured I had these already, planned on doing this for a while. Here, go ahead and get it done, especially now that I got those on. Really just kind of feel the performance before and after. And I think, I think they're a really good addition to the truck and definitely definitely worth it i think for everything that i got the calipers rotors the new little bolts all that odds and ends i think really i'm only into this swap for like 350 maybe 400 bucks the max and it definitely definitely helped out a lot so i'll leave a link to everything i'll actually actually might leave a, and a picture about right here of all the part numbers, everything that I got. And then the little spacers I got. I'll see if I can find that link. Like I said, I ordered all this stuff a while ago and I'm just not getting to this. So I'll try to find the link to everything, put it in the description below so you guys can go check all that out. But as far as the calipers, rotors, everything, I'll leave the part numbers because half the links that I put on this stuff at least for that all of it's on back order i had to search part numbers to find the calipers and stuff so that will be part numbers but as far as the little spacers and i'll see if i can't find the links put those in the description for you guys that's pretty much it guys just doing the big brake upgrade from a, i believe a 2019 silverado which is like it's going to be the big girl edition because i guess the the regular ones come with kind of the same. I mean, they're still bigger, but they still kind of come with the same as what this truck came with. But I think, I think they're definitely 
definitely good. And this truck is coming along perfect. It's coming along exactly like I wanted to, but we're still not done yet, guys. So if you want to see more with this truck, hit that subscribe button. Also, if you like this video, hit that like button. Leave a comment down below if you have any comments, questions, concerns with anything I did. And let me know what you guys think about it. Also, go follow me on all my socials. I will leave that in the description below and in the end cards. Again, I hope this video helped you out, guys. I hope this kind of motivates you guys to go work on some of your stuff. Maybe do this mod too. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you next time.